Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. It's the closing bell. However, I'm not here. This is not a live show. It would say live if it was live. There'd be a little ring around the icon and it would say live. But what it does say is live premiere. I recorded this in the closing bell, sorry, in the opening bell Monday morning. Uh, but it is now the closing bell. The reason why I'm not here is because I'm taking Leah, my wife, to the eye doctor recently. She had eye, an eye issue and we're going to have a checkup today. Uh, there's no issue uh, thank you for all the love and prayers for my wife. She appreciates it. But we're just going to go and have a checkup today. And I want to be with her and uh, support her. So I'm not here for the closing bell this afternoon. But I have prepared some information for you so you can be prepared for Wednesday FOMC report, NVIDIA and all the rest of it. So this is what you need to be looking at. On the homepage of the channel, I've recorded three special videos. First of all, FOMC chart. We are bearish, uh, or Sensei is bearish, and he's provided you the chart so you can trade the S&P. You can trade the market on uh, now, uh, ready for Wednesday, and you can know what all the buy zone, sell zone, support levels are, and so on. Uh, we've got the NVIDIA trade as well. If you are trading with NVIDIA, how do you uh, uh, um, handle all of that? So there's that for you. And also uh, gold and oil, a big trade as well, preparing for Wednesday. Now, last of all, I have this here. Don't hurt invest. This is a very important video. People are saying it's my best ever video I've made. Go and check it out. All of these videos I'll put below uh, this video so you can uh, go and check them out as well. Okay, there we go. Now, as I'm making this um, uh, for, the, for the closing bell, this has just come in and I'm going to share this with you. Some breaking news about the, uh, the Fed countdown to the FOMC. So let me bring this up on the screen. Let's have a quick listen in here to this. We're in the midst of a presidential election. Fed Chair Powell, of course, has rejected the notion that politics plays a role in these deliberations. Here's the case for a 50. It's where the Fed is going anyway. Might as well get there quickly. The Fed is behind the curve, should have cut in July. And there's no harm since the Fed is thought to be restrictive. And there's plenty of room before it starts to really even stimulate the economy. And it's insurance against weakness, since weakness is now the biggest risk out there. J.P. Morgan <clears throat> writing over the weekend, pardon me, that a closely followed monetary policy rule shows policy is currently a full percentage point or more too restrictive. Just FYI, David Kelly, who is also at J.P. Morgan, but at asset management, he predicts a 25. St. Louis Fed President Jim Buller telling me over the weekend he thinks 25 is on the way and the Fed will lay out a dovish set of projections, 125 to 150 basis points over the next year. Here's the problem. Markets are pricing in 250 basis points of cuts this time next year, and a 50 today could encourage them to be even more aggressive, guys. Yeah, it's all... <laughs> the, the... Thank you very much for that information that just came out so I could bring that to you at the end of the video. I'm now able to bring in live CNBC uh, feed from the New York Stock Exchange directly into my live shows. This is very exciting. So there you go. Uh, I've got, I'll give you all the links. Uh, also, let me know what you thought about that in the comments. Now able to provide you this extra live content as I record or as I go live. It's really exciting. So click above my head for all the links down below in the description. I'll put all those videos for you. And uh, over here, I shall put um, the Don't Hurt Invest video and the FOMC report. Both of these, this will be the live event you want to join me for. But this video, you must see before the event. This is the psychology of investing. So there we go. I will see you back for the opening bell. Uh, prayers and thoughts for my wife. I'm sure you'll all give that. You always do. And I will see you back in the, in the opening bell, which will be Tuesday morning, September the 17th. Until then, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.